What is good with y'all, man? So, if you didn't know, uh, apparently Josh Sweat actually ended up getting an 89 overall team of the week card today. He did have a pretty good game against the Lions. He had two sacks, some tackles. He balled the hell out. So, they said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's give this guy a card. And I I don't want to say I predicted it last night, but one of the guys I said, if there was a shot at, at anyone getting a team of the week for the Eagles, it was Josh Sweat. And look at that. He got one. So, Let's go ahead and look at his stats before we go into all the other stuff. So with the theme team, 50 out of 50, this guy, 6'5", 251, that's a big guy, 89 speed, 93 excel, 83 strength, a little low, but he's got 86 block shed, which is also a tad bit low, but he's got a 90 finesse move, so he's fast. I have speeds throwing him, as you can see. We're going to be trying that out tonight. I haven't tried it out yet. I've been wanting to try it out tonight. We're going to let it rip, try it out and see. It's supposed to basically how Speedster works is um, speed rush moves uh, for fast guys, right? Finesse, that kind of stuff, right? So I don't know. We're going to see how that works tonight. I'm excited to use this card. Um, I got his power up. He's powered all the way up, as you can see. He looks like he's going to be a menace. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, well, actually, back down. I was going to you know show you all the other stuff he gets. Um, and you can't change his uh position he, he's basically just right in that's it you can't really change that um his abilities he pretty much gets what everybody else gets. he's nothing you know defensive rally double or nothings edge threat i would recommend not putting an edge threat on him so we've been using edge threats for like a week now and what we have learned from them is this do not put edge threats on guys that have like really high finesse moves and don't like have any power move Edge threats should only be used on guys with like high power moves, just strong physical guys like the finesse speed guys. We're trying to find something for them. That's why we're going to try Speedster tonight. And I think Speedster could be kind of crazy. Like I said, we're going to see how it works tonight. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, But yeah, like edge threat, like I, I good people to put this on Chris Long. Really nice with that. Brandon Graham, who, who's going to actually be my other end tonight. We're going to be running with him. Um, So yeah um so really you know i think he inside stuff there really would be no point of putting inside stuff on him because i mean why the fuck would you want it? i mean putting this guy d tackle is probably not a very bright idea um but yeah so those are pretty much the abilities he gets uh you can't change his position and so basically how i'm running the defensive line right now is i'm gonna have because if you guys know i run 4d line in my main defense it's gonna be josh sweat on the right I'm going to have Brandon Graham on the left, Fletch, Haloti, Nada in the middle. So if you see how I got the abilities running on the, right now, I got Speedster on Josh Sweat. I got Edge Threat on Brandon Graham, and I have an inside stuff on Haloti, Nada. So um, I pretty much benched Javon. I mean, I, I just feel like this Javon Curse card, it just doesn't play how it did it, man. Like Madden 21, cracked out insane. You couldn't block the guy. In this Madden, I don't know, you know, like I said, I never tried Speedster on him, so maybe that that could be, yeah, I don't I don't know, but the card definitely just doesn't play how I expected him to. Um, and the reason why I'm playing Brandon Graham to, uh, over Chris Long, Brandon Graham has a lot higher block shed, and yeah, that's just kind of what it can do. He has a lot higher block shed. Yeah, that's pretty much it, because most of their stats are pretty similar, but but Chris Long is still going to play when I'm in the 3 4 4 6 defense. He'll go ahead and show up in there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I'm running the D line right now. Like I said, unless you guys know any speedsters, how these things are going to work. You see, we got Brandon, Fletch, Haloti, Sweat, Chris Long. He's going to be up in there for the 3 4 4 6. So really, Javon Curse is just not playing for me right now at all. Um, if these speedsters happen to be really, like, if this speedster is really glitchy on Sweat, and I'm like, you know what? This is kind of crazy. Then maybe tomorrow night, I'll go ahead, I'll throw Javon up in the lineup, we'll throw a speedster on him, and we'll see what the hell he can do. We'll we'll see, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Because I just, I just feel like this, I don't know what it is, like this Javon Curse card, I feel like, I, I don't know, does he go crazy for you guys? Maybe it's just me. You know, he's got the speed, he does. Um, his finesse, an 88 finesse at this point in the game, when you look at it, is really low. But the thing is, for my point is last year, I used that Javon Curse uh, 50 card like way past like itself. I was using him like when you should not have been using him anymore. And I'm talking about he was still screaming. So like, I don't know. This card just doesn't hit the same. I don't know. We'll see though. Um, if if speed starts to be nice, we're gonna we're gonna give Javon a shot because I really like having speed edge guys. 
Like, I like the Brandon Grahams. I like the Chris Longs, but they're just slow as fuck. So, if, you know, if, if you're in a game where you got to hold a contain, they're not going to hold a contain. When obviously I could just sub, you know, Javon in and guys like that. But, you know, then that's going to take away from the pass rush a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, do I recommend getting this Josh Sweat card? I mean, look, I'm never going to say you got to get any of these cards immediately unless it's like a game changing card or something like that. You don't have to get this guy. We have so many defensive linemen, but I would say this. If you're looking to get another speed guy off the edge, he's definitely the guy. 89 speed, six foot five. I mean, he's pretty nice. Um, I would say get him. You know, I, I haven't used him yet, but I would say I would say he's worth getting. He looks pretty good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try him out tonight. If you guys want to see us using him tonight testing out some of these new defensive abilities uh flipping around the defensive lineup you go ahead follow the twitch the link to that is in the description hit those notifications when i go live it's that bull crest the same as the youtube all my other social media so go ahead drop a follow on there for me but till then that's pretty much gonna do it though boys like comment subscribe man and your boy is out